Well, this Thursday actually marks five years since the deadly mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Since then, the debate over gun control has remained at the forefront of American politics. CBSN sent a team to Colorado Springs to hear from people there on both sides of the issue. It's part of our upcoming special, Mass Shootings, Five Years After Sandy Hook. This week is the five-year anniversary of Sandy Hook, um, which was one of the worst mass shootings in the country. 28 people were killed. A lot of them were six- and seven-year-olds. Do you guys remember where you were when you heard about that shooting and what your reaction was? I feel like that was a really big turning point for America, in my opinion, in that not providing any substantive legislation after that point, in my mind, made it okay that these kids died. No one seemed to care. I mean, if, if our most innocent and vulnerable population is not being protected a little bit better and there's not going to be some move towards let's rethink our position, it's never going to matter. I was newly married, obviously, didn't have a kid at the time, and I just, I didn't understand the mentality of it. Now I have a kid and I could only, I couldn't imagine um, what those families went through. And how how do you prevent that tragedy and, and how do you stop that? I, I, I wish I had an answer for that. I got an email a couple of weeks ago that my daughter was um, participating in active shooter drills and they were teaching them to hide. So they wanted to alert the parents in case the kids came home and talked about we hid from Miss Melissa today. Um, and I just found it so disheartening and honestly it made me really angry and I felt like Someone's right to own a piece of metal was infringing on my child's right to live. It frustrates me immensely that we have to have those. And I feel like Newtown was the big turning point for that. When I went to school, it was fire drills and tornado drills. And unfortunately, now it's, it's hide from Miss Melissa. Um, you know, it's kind of back to when kids used to have to hide under the desk in case there was a bombing or something, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it is the world as it is. And I'd rather have my daughter, when she gets to that point, be prepared. It sucks. I'm never going to disagree with that. but. I'd rather have her know than not know and be sure. I agree. Be open to it. Well, you can see more of that conversation tomorrow night during our special report, Mass Shootings Five Years After Sandy Hook, which will air right here on CBSN at 8 p.m. Eastern.